my life in Washington, D.C. Channel that energy into something that's positive, into something that's helpful and wholesome and healing. So we have some speakers from the community who are going to talk to us just about what Trump is doing and how it's impacting their lives. And then we're going to do some dancing. Um, we have this great, great banner to talk about what safety is to them and what that means in their lives. If you feel safe and what are the things that make you feel safe. So this is also a way for us to engage in this moment. And we have some face painting as well. That but means in Michigan, where I'm from, I can go into a restaurant with my mother and be denied service. That shit is legal. So let's not forget that some of us are living in these conditions. And even though Trump didn't drop the hammer, that motherfucker been dropping the hammer. White supremacy been dropping the hammer on all of us. So let's not forget that we are here to make sure that we are vocal, we are visible, we are seen, we are standing up for undocumented people, we are standing up for our children, our seniors, our trans folk, our people of color. It is important. So don't forget why you're here. Women, we don't have to have a sign on our forehead. We are women. We are here today to help out the cause in the whole community because not only one community is being service all communities need to be but served. They don't respect the rights of our queer, trans, queer and trans communities, women, and especially those who are all of the above. But when they go low, we act locally. There are a number of actions that you can take to raise your voices against, um, against state violence and against discrimination. The first thing that you can do is, on May 9th, Gigi Thomas, is facing murder charges for actions she took to save her own life. We can pack the courtroom, tell the judge to free Gigi and to end state violence against women of color who are fighting for their lives. Amen. The second thing that you can do is speak out against everyday sexism, everyday racism, everyday homophobia, and everyday transphobia by supporting the Street Harassment Prevention Act. This bill defines street harassment broadly. This is my son. <laughs> uh, it defines harassment uh, on the basis of gender identity, sexual orientation, immigration status, housing status, uh, a broad range of traits, and will address violence with public health solutions. The hearing is in the next few weeks, and we need folks to come out and share their stories. So sign up to testify at bit.ly slash end street harassment. Is coming up in 2018, and we're not going to stand for it anymore. Right. This man right here has to be accountable. He always talking about grabbing pussies. No, that's not right. That's sexual harassment, and and he doesn't need. How in the world did he become president anyway with an idea like that? We need to stand strong and say no. We're not going to take it. Trans people, we need to come together. It doesn't matter who you are or what label you have behind you, but if you are a human being, then we need to come together and say, we will overcome this man. We will take over the next administration.